We going? Hey, yo! Beer review time! Coming at you live from arguably my favorite spot in Vietnam, Quang Ma. Special guest for your Benito, Ben, Preacher, Pierce. Yes. Nailed it. Nailed Love it. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ben, for the format, tell the folks at home, uh... <laughs> You don't live in Vietnam anymore. What do you what do you what do you do? No, no, no. So 2018, I left. Uh, building Surveyor in <laughs> Bristol now. Yeah. So back. Come on, come on. Uh, John Bone. Oh, here we go. Hi. Hey. Oh, okay, roll with it. Oh yeah. Uh, so uh, John Bone. So yeah, could we speak, speak a little loud? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's loud out here. John Bone's got married. So congrats to. Uh, Shout to out to Johnny, Johnny Bones. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. and Sophie. And Sophie. Lovely wedding in Hoi Yeah, yeah. Absolutely Love it. beautiful. And okay. just. Yeah, Seeing all old friends, enjoying Quang Mops, and uh, yeah, keep it real. Love it. So, obviously, big thanks to uh, Cal for Man of the Ones and Twos. Shout out to our teammates, Charles, Chuck, Sean, and Chuck's lady. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm so bad. Jen. Jen! Thank you, Jen. You want to get into it? Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Any shout outs you want to give other than the people at the table? Uh, uh, just, you know, all the, all the big names. So, uh, Big Bulls. Uh, Johnny Clerkin. Randy Big Balls Bedford. Exactly. Johnny Clerkin, yep. Exactly. Um, so, I've just seen everyone. has been brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Love it. All just, right. Yeah. So, let's get into the beer. Because you brought this all the way I back did, to the I UK. Did. I mean... Uh, Cal, can you get a close-up on the beer there? So, it's got Bristol in the net. So, Bristol Beer Factory. Is that where you're from? One of my Bristol? favorite... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. From there, living there now. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. One of my favorite um, Bristol craft beers. Um, Southville. Southville Hawk. Very nice. West Coast IPA. Yeah, yeah. West Coast, Best Coast. We love fucking West Coast IPAs on the show. 6.5% alcohol by volume. An icon in the world of American IPAs. First brewed in 2010. This is all hop, no frills, powerful and smooth. Southville Hop is your new favorite IPA. <laughs> Could and mine. It better. Yeah. Love it. 6.5%. Let's fucking get it's into convincing. it. convincing. Ben, have you seen some of the videos before? Yeah, I think I've seen them all. Yeah, I mean, I remember... Uh, no way you've seen them! <laughs> I mean, I've seen... I've, da- I've seen all of them. We have two fans. Three. <laughs> no, I remember. I think... In the beginning lockdown, well, we had different I lockdowns. I started during lockdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it, it was, was the also, project started during lockdown. I was yeah. in England during lockdown. Right. And um, they were great. Yeah. Uh, love them. So happy to get involved. Thank you. Love it. All right. So we do one sip. We give a score zero to ten, and we try one beer every day until we've tried them all. Mm-hmm. I'm on a mission from God to try every beer in the world. We'll see how far we get. It's very amber. That's that's what a fucking West Coast IPA should look like. Yeah. That's the perfect color. Wow. And frankly, the perfect uh, level of transparency. Well, those Bristol boys know how to do it. Fucking Bristol, we love it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so give it a smell first. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It smells punchy. It smells like a West Coast IPA. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Ben, one sip. Everybody knows the rules. Yeah. Let's see what we got. Okay. Where the punchy there? Shout out to my guy Danny Zion. <laughs> mm. So let me ask you something: Have you had this beer before in Bristol? Yes. Okay. I, it's not. I wouldn't usually go to it because of the strength. Six point okay. five is quite strong. Obviously, it's so it's standard it's for me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we got some differences. Okay. Uh, and some similarities. But anyway, yeah, we're going Absolutely. Uh, so, so then, yeah. Usually, I'd, I'd probably go like five point five above. That's a bit much. But okay. Oh, yeah, but that's fair. So does it taste? Now, from this can that's traveled all the way over here, the same as it did fresh in Bristol. Yeah, I'd say so. It doesn't taste like any. It doesn't taste like it's traveled badly. It tastes pretty right. Much, yeah, no, it, it tastes to me like it traveled pretty well. Yeah. It's a nice, strong, punchy West Coast IPA. West Coast, best coast. It, it, it hits. Yeah. So the West Coast IPA is a little more malt forward. They're not like juicy, hoppy like the the New England IPAs. That's why we love them. They're more traditional. Okay. All right. Wow. Then the guest always scores first. We can talk about the beer a little bit more, or you can just bang out a... Um, I mean, what would I say? I mean, like, yeah, so, I mean, any other flavors I can detect? I mean, you're the expert, but I'll, I'll get involved. I'm no expert. I just drink a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I think it's good. It, it, um, like I said, it is strong. I think it's but, really um, good. But yeah. I, I think it's really good. Mm. So don't, I'll, I'll, don't, I'll, don't, be, don't be nervous to give it a hometown score. It's from where you're from. Okay. If you want to juice the score a little bit to, to give 
give two to the people of Bristol? By all means, it's I your mean, I think it's your review, it's your score, it's your beer, whatever. So you like can't I said, say a number that's wrong okay, yeah, unless yeah. it's a round score. Okay, so wouldn't usually go for a beer this strength, but within this category yep. of a beer of this strength, I think it's great. Yep. And I'm gonna go with one sip of roll. Mm. Yeah, only one. I'm gonna go with uh, 8.3 I think you're a little low on that I think it's better than that 8.9 You can't change your score <laughs> It's like figure skating Once you flash the score, that's it, it's locked in but once you go clearly, clearly you've seen all the videos three times If you think you can change your score I've got an 8.7 I think it's a really good beer mm. I think nice. it's and Degree of difficulty for me I factor in sometimes It's like it traveled all the way from the UK yeah, to yeah. here, and it was warm when it was, it was uh, West Coast. Like IPAs should be kept cold all the time. The fact that it was sitting warm in your suitcase when it got here, and then we chilled it down, and it tasted this good. Mm -hmm. I think that's fucking awesome. I love that because obviously you know Bristol, hometown, and all that. So yeah, yeah no, that, that's great. Anyone else in Bristol you want to say hello to before we get going? Uh, Bristol. Uh, yeah. So shout out to Mush, Rich, uh, Sublime. Uh, Love it, uh, all the boys. Greg, yeah. We oh, yeah, Refo Webbo, yeah. So, Refo Webbo, uh, ex uh, Saigon legend, Bristol now lives boys, in Bristol. Yeah, he actually lives in Southville. This is, this is like one of his locals. Love uh, it. So Tag them all in the comments. Oh, yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I don't yeah. know any of those I think you know, anyway, you might know that. But <laughs> you just forgot about him. Uh, no, no, but uh, <laughs> yeah. So, 8.3, you said? And I said 8.7? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a review. Yeah. Well, cheers. Yes. That's a wrap.